it's it's a pretty extensive exhibit. Um, it's actually even a little larger than this, but we only had space for so much. Uh, this one features jazz singers from Texas, and it pretty much goes from the early part of the century until until now. So literally from dead to alive, I guess you could say. Some of the people are still performing, and some of them have passed on, and they were sort of just trailblazers. Everybody's from Texas. Everybody's from here. So it's actually kind of amazing how um, people from Texas have contributed to jazz. Most people don't realize that. It, it's just uncanny that from every era of jazz, there's someone representative from Texas. We have a, a variety of exhibits we do. We feature black artists from, from uh, Austin. Sometimes we have just one artist that will show you know, their work, and sometimes it's several. We do a, an exhibit every year called Smile because we have a program where we teach kids how to use a camera with black and white film. And basically it starts in January and it goes through May, and the kids literally meet once a week with their camera. We lend them a camera and we give them the film. And they're able to learn how to go into the dark room and develop it themselves and we do quilts from the african-american community people who either collect them or make them are able to bring their quilts here and tell us their story and we show the quilts for a couple of months the new building will have four galleries we'll have a, an artist gallery and we'll have the, the permanent exhibit gallery which will have the black families and there's one of oh, the juneteenth gallery and then we'll have the children's gallery so that's four and for a museum and cultural center, so we're kind of having a lot of things in one building. Um, and the library next door will also be expanding about 5,000 square feet. And um, it will be one huge campus, basically. What else? We'll have a theater, which is, of course, everybody's all excited about that. And it will be a state-of-the-art theater. And quite frankly, probably the very first state-of-the-art performing arts stage on this side of 35, I would imagine. I'm pretty sure. It's always Black History Month or Black History Day here. There's not a set time for that. And I think that, um, you know, African American culture and history is not just for African Americans. It's for everyone. And so we like to tell people that this is everyone's building. This is not just, you know, this is not just the black folks' spot. This is everybody's spot because everybody needs to know about everybody else.